Once the Second Karabakh War ended, Armenia and Artsakh found themselves with a borderline with Azerbaijan that grew dramatically in length. A battle-weary armed forces with stretched resources had to act quickly to set up new posts and positions, and prevent further Azerbaijani advancement. Armenians watched on as servicemen had to fulfill duties with old weaponry and outdated gear. But one issue that has been coming up time and time again is tents. Photos have circulated online of makeshift, low-quality and ragged tents positioned in tough terrain and within view of the Azerbaijani army, much of which are stationed in higher-quality tents. And now with the incursions by Azerbaijan in Sunik and Gerarkunik, the Armenian army is trying to increase the density of outposts tenfold. A group of Armenians around the world started a new initiative, Tents for Armenian Heroes. It's rather simple, one of the volunteers, Mikhail Hagopian, contacted military equipment warehouses in France to bulk buy large tents that are military grade. 100 were shipped from France, and another 100 were produced in Armenia. Asrine Pasoyan, one of the co-founders, put nearly all her savings into this initiative and is calling on people everywhere to help out. We quickly created a group and we started helping each other with sources, you know, procurement, what is the lowest cost, where can we find, until we ran out of our own money and um, all our savings finished. So we started an organized fundraising campaign and we called it this initiative Tents for the Army and Heroes. Which is a Facebook a page, a group, and um, um, it's an initiative uh, that is has been working already after November 9, um, dedicated primarily to the tent. Rian is another serviceman and co-founder of Tents for Armenian Heroes. Once the tents are gathered in Yerevan, he moves them to different parts of the front line. In Armenia proper, a fundraiser that raised over $10,000 was reported by anonymous people on Facebook and it was taken down. However, these men and women are determined that every Armenian serviceman can at least get a proper night's sleep and shelter from the forces of nature, especially in the midst of the current border crisis in the cold heights of Sunik and Gerard.